right. Here we go. Alright. Welcome to the music room. Uh, of course, we have a fine assortment and collection of goodies. Where to begin? Hmm. Well, we start with some glass, some art glass, a statue, very beautiful. Move along to the black light posters. Which, of course, in the night time when I have the fluorescent lights on, very beautiful, very beautiful. <coughs> so, from one thing to the next, got some ground to cover. Hope you enjoy <laughs> my little film here video just to give you a little idea of the assortment of unique things I have collected over the years. <laughs> I love my peanuts and yeah it's one of the best movies ever made, Psych Out, which is the theme we were being accompanied with. <clears throat> of course, my assortment of albums, which um, take up a lot of room, but I cannot stop collecting. Yes, it just keeps growing and growing like a weed. But more enjoyable. Um, I love my little pictures here that I picked up at Value Village some years ago. I was pretty excited to get them. <coughs> of course, my favorite band, Pink Floyd. Yes, they didn't include the Wall album on the poster, so I felt it necessary to put the mirror there. <laughs> Behind here is a lot of movies, all sorts of videos. <laughs> yeah, kind of all over the place, a lot of vintage horror films, the Beatles, vintage Playboy Centerfold. Well, we'll just move away from that. One of the best horror films ever made, of course, Carrie. My vintage lamp, which has actually been around. <coughs> the fat Albert bulb. <coughs> okay, we'll play that one again. Give it such a perfect song to do this to. Woodstock, which is... I'm sure you're aware of what that was all about. Three days of wonderful music and performance. And... Let's see, here we got... Mr. Hendrix, up above and up from the skies. And more blacklight posters, which uh, I'm really glad I have. I don't think I'll ever be getting rid of a lot of this stuff. It's probably keepers till the day I die. <laughs> this is a collage I made some years ago. An assortment of vintage posters and book covers and movie promo posters, <coughs> which I had a little bit of my own effect there with the bejeweling, shall we say, uh, added a little touch, of course, the beads, there's never 
Never too many beads in the house. I don't really like doorways without beads. <laughs> and of course, beetles. And my <laughs> my little friend, the Pink Panther, and his ultra groovy boots, which is one size fits all. <laughs> The amazing Kuki, the talking beatnik doll with her little British guitar, which she loves and has been playing a long time. She's really quite talented. Moving along. <clears throat> yes, some influential faces of the 60s. Vintage poster, black white material. Which, uh, one day I will probably videotape uh, or well, digitally videoize on this camera with the black lights going. So really cool effect that unfolds from them, which is hidden in the regular sunlight. Try not to move too fast here to give you a, a, a look at some things. My Fender Rhodes piano, which has become the valley of the dolls, with my little collection of pretty and sexy dolls <laughs> that uh, not everybody understands, especially my male friends, why I collect them. But Peace Bunny, and a word I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with, Groovy, and love, you got to have Groovy love to be happy. Of course I like my pictures of pinups which uh, are all over the house. <laughs> Look at this neat pen I picked up. Now that's true rock and roll. It should be a little clearer, but... Oh well. My groovy glasses. Vintage, of course. An assortment of books. Kind of all... Well, mostly all just uh, music related and 60s and 70s related, covering various topics of those decades, but mostly musically. And uh, my vintage couch, which I, I picked up for free one day, which was really excited about. Got a friend of mine who had a pickup to swing by. He was only like not even a five minute drive away from it. He grabbed it and brought her home. Yeah, so gives you a little idea of some of the things that I'm into. My little cute Nicky Nackies, which uh, are vintage as well. They're so cute. Looks like uh, one of them's on vacation. He's not there. I wish you would have mentioned something before leaving the nest, but uh, I'm sure he's okay. My cool cat clock from probably 1960. I have one that's black as well. And uh, the adorable Dolly Reed from Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. This man needs no introduction whatsoever. And, uh, well, perhaps this can. Oh, yes, beautiful Janice. Hello, Janice. How are you today? Lovely day, isn't it? I love your car. Beautiful. And, uh,. Yeah. Poster I picked up when I was a teenager, which uh, I still have to this day. <laughs> Many laughs have come from this poster. And, uh, yeah, 
my vintage Moran stereo and not too bad paradigm speakers and well, this was I was a little bit nervous doing this and this is my first time putting all this stuff on video and but I wanted to share. Yeah, my hippie Barbie which I done up myself. She's looking pretty cool. Barbie never looks so neat. Take it in your hands and touch it yeah. if you strike it. So <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed the little tour of my music room. And, uh, yeah, this concludes our segment of part of the tour of the house, which will be continued another day. Thank you for joining us. Have a nice evening, pleasant dreams, and a beautiful tomorrow. Betty says good night. Good night.